my art isn't meant to be defined. My art is meant to be experienced. The things that you experience in your life is your art history. I'm sharing a part of mine. There's no definition to art. That's not what I believe. I've studied and I've spent my time understanding what artists were researching and what they were looking for. Uh, we are a reflection of our current time. Uh, we are a reflection of information of our past. We are a mirror to the future. Uh, it's important for us to let go of all those definitions and what, why, and what not. Um, I'm not going to be too specific with these answers because sometimes I feel like they're relevant to where I'm going. My message to the world is very simply to love yourself first and then to be the reflection that you want to see in the world. My name is Gaëtan Veno Joachim and I come from Haiti. I was born in Haiti. I came to Canada when I was young. I've been here in Canada just exploring uh, the diversity of culture and learning how it impacts uh, not only your uh, experiences but also your, how you cultivate the things that make you become who you choose to become as you grow into the world. A lot of people that go to your shows and see your art, they would say that your art is more of the spiritual kind. Is that really what you are trying to portray through your art? Are you trying to portray that spiritual spark of inspiration that we all need to find within ourselves? Or is this just your self-expression of you as a person? I never really structured myself to be too confined to what uh, spiritually or creatively came out of me. I was just uh, a reflection of what the universe asked from me or guided me to. Uh, for me, it is a spiritual guide. Uh, when I say spiritual guide, it means that I'm at an important part of my life where my legacy is super important. So I asked the universe to let me know what to do, what to, what to intake next in multiple different forms. It may be my meditation, it might be in my practice of uh, cultivating my days, uh, you know, depending on what comes towards me. Uh, you know, the opportunities, balancing between the I want and what people want to see and also navigating in the world. Creativity will always be defined to a person's experience and how they specifically see that expression. Uh, to using textures and, and whatnot, you'll find yourself being able to express yourself on a canvas. Now, if you expect to have a person understand it, is when you lose yourself because essentially you're supposed to express, uh, the person's supposed to intake. So, um, my creativity is you, uh, my creativity is a little bit of me, and my creativity is what I'd like to see in the world in the future. Where do you get your inspiration from and how do you prepare to put your thoughts and feelings onto a canvas? Like, are there specific things that you do to kind of get you into the creative mode? I believe that uh, a good part of what we do is to look inside of our own life. Um, also, the things that we have experienced. I mean, I can tell a person that I absolutely love Disney growing up. I still don't draw Disney. It's a form of inspiration. It has a, a, a textile look, a, a feel, a touch, an emotion, an impression, or an angle of view that is interesting. And in my art, I tell, my, I tell myself lately to look into the present, uh, the present moment, or more or less, the present acquisition, that desire, that feeling that makes you want to just go and lose yourself into that creativity. Um, it is also very important uh, to know that you're supposed to also be very constant with your creativity, meaning that to establish time for that creativity to exist. It's not simply just a moment of putting things together, it's a moment of expression. And if any moment of expression is interrupted, you need just like a, a child being born and having a, a traumatic experience. You leave a, a, a distraught in the mix of that creativity. And so that's when an artist gets artist block because they lose themselves into trying to mirror or 
let's say, be too realistic into the mirroring of what the world is, and they lose themselves into that creativity, which is what is innate to each uh, and every one of us. Just the way that life teaches us lessons, what would you say has been something that art has taught you? Art teaches you to be patient, to understand, and to also let go at the same time. Because you can redo the same thing over and over and over and never result to the same thing. <laughs> uh, some people say it's that uh, concept of insanity. But um, when you are in creative mode, when you're in that moment of complete desire and creative aspiration, you have to let go. So letting go provides you the opportunity to completely indulge into what you are actually learning more or less than actually doing. And it is to figure out what the pattern is telling you, what the process is, is asking for. Uh, the rest is very much a replica. I mean, we can become good at just copying, but when you reach to creativity, you really kind of let go and you don't really necessarily want to make something that is uh, completely reflective of the world, but more expressed. So having followed your work for a few years now, I've come across a lot of your digital art as well as your acrylic work, uh, pouring, pencil crayon, black and white, and all these kind of different forms. Um, but what is your true art form that you kind of want to master? When I was young growing up, um, my days would start usually just uh, amongst the same type of routinary uh, lifestyle that most people have, which is, you know, you wake up, you go, you see your family, you go to you know, school or whatever age you're at. Um, at my age, personally, what I remember was uh, a playground, knowing that past the routine, there was a moment, a glimpse in the, in the loophole of life where you could make it your own. And that always triggered my my creativity or seeing like what else can that bring me to storyline uh, the the drive of the unknown and whatnot so um, very important for me to stay true to that nature always to stay true to that nature meaning that I didn't have a canvas when I was creative at the beginning of my life um, I used to take a stick and just start drawing onto the ground uh, I didn't have anything else. Um, my dad would come back from uh, being an electrician downtown in Haiti and they, you know, have like leftovers from his electrical parts and I would just build something with that. Creativity is not complex. It's not meant to be complex. It's, uh, um, it's, it, it's, it's like an uh, invisible teacher that exists in our lives and it shows itself when it needs to in order to show you different things and you don't know what you're creating you know, but essentially it gives you leeways to maybe become a, an engineer or something greater, you know, depending on what your time allows you to be. In my, in the old time, I might have been something else, right? Uh, in this time and age, I use digital as one of the forms that is current and asked for, and I create. But there's an aspect of the natural creativity that's so necessary for a person to practice. It's that, it's that that magical one which you, you, your, your natural form within this dimension create within this dimension. It, it has such a, a powerful impact on your, your ability to manifest. And um, yeah, we can use and utilize the tools around the, 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 the digital and, and the other tools that we have that obviously are changing. But uh, in my preference, I felt that it was necessary for me to um, appreciate the journey that I have currently, which is, you know, the textile aspect of taking stone and crystals and, and other form, resins, uh, paint, and just really express myself. My art is expression. I don't look to um, be, you know, utilized in one specific frame. I want to be free and happy to art. As an artist, how do you feel when somebody sells a painting for 70,000 plus <laughs> and it's just a banana on the wall? How does that make you feel as an artist? Um, sometimes you just have to disrupt the reality for people to know that this is not that serious, guys. But 
who knows, you know, <laughs> so maybe grand or I know it way more than that. She does it all. If you have uh, yourself in a situation where you see uh, an art form that has a greater value, then you are focusing too much on the money. <laughs> art is supposed to be an expression that is willingly creating steps in order to bring you closer to what you're going to be in your own life. There is really absolutely no 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 difference of uh, of uh, of uh, value because one person has more or whatnot because art also gets more valuable down the age. We've learned this from all of the the elders that have passed before us. Um, I would say to a person, if you feel like you're worth seventy thousand dollars, just put in the seventy thousand dollars worth of work that uh, you can put into your work, and honestly, let the world judge it for itself. Um, there's really no worries about the value of your work. I, I personally think that if you're being creative right now with me on this planet at this time, I love you and you deserve to be a beautiful uh, soul creating whatever you're creating. <laughs> what advice do you have for new artists or even artists that have been doing this for a while that are feeling unmotivated? are feeling stuck or are feeling like they have no idea where they're going with their with their art? I don't have a teacher. <laughs> Most people want to have to be taught. Uh, recently I was told that uh, from, a, from a young lady that she she felt like the only way for her to, to learn was to be taught. And, um, um, if you are, if you're in a situation where you're asking yourself, where am I going to go with my art? That just means you haven't explored enough. It's not complicated. People want to find the end line before they find the beginning. Um, you may find yourself doing gymnastics and become a painter at the end of your life. And the gymnastic part of it was for you to learn more of your an anatomical presence. And when you uh, uh, later on grow into uh, picking up uh, any form, you know, painting, coloring, whatever you want to put into your own practice, you'll find yourself maybe understanding physical body a lot better than another artist. And what movements would uh, electrify the visuals a lot more. So uh, predefining yourself is actually an error. You should not. Um, just find your art, find your soul, find yourself. I have basically run out of things to tell you. So if you guys have any questions regarding anything that you'd like to know, just let it know. Let me know on the comments below. I'll do my best to respond to you as soon as possible. There's a lot of questions that are asked for me. My work is in the world. I work with people all the time. I love to talk to creators. I like to help them build. It is what I do. I am uh, that kind of guy. Um, I also want you to know that I'm here for you and here to help you grow in your process. So if you have any questions or you need help with anything, just let me know. Like, let's not be too serious about this thing. <laughs> it's creativity. So, talk to you soon.